Hello everyone, it's Jane Mamalny here and today I'm sharing some scrapbook albums that are six by six size. I've had some requests on ideas for using this smaller size album. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I've got a couple types here. This is a year in review album from, I did this in 2018. I had planned to do this each year since, um, but just hadn't gotten around to it. So maybe I'll do that for 2022. And then this one is like a memorial album of our dog who passed away. So I'm gonna flip through each of these albums and talk about the ideas behind them. Let's start with this year in review album. This is an album, first of all, that um, was part of a story by Stacy Kitt. Stacy Julian is the mastermind behind this idea and the concept of how I put this together. So I'm going to explain that to you. While the kit is no longer available, these albums are available as well as other 6x6 albums and the 6x6 page protectors are still available. So the only difference is that there was like a 6x6 paper pad and some little embellishments that, and ribbon that all came with the kit. But I'm sure you guys all have stuff in your stash that you can use. It's just paper and embellishments essentially. So what I did on this opening page is I had a bigger picture that just like a normal, uh, like a 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11 scrapbook uh, album would sort of represent the whole contents of the album. So this is a family photo that is a good represent representation of 2018. And so I just did a little bit of pattern paper on the bottom and the top with a little divider line and some embellishments that are from my stash. So let's take a closer look at that. I cut the title out with my Cricut. You could use dies if you have those. Um, but essentially that is the opening of my album. Now, when you turn the page, you see basically a lot of photos at smaller sizes. So the idea behind this concept is that you print a whole bunch of pictures in this case that all were in 2018 and print them at smaller sizes and then cut them down, crop them. I think I even cut them down smaller and fit more in this album than Stacy originally had anticipated. So I like to collage my photos into uh, smaller sizes and fit multiple on a four by six paper. And I have a video showing how I do that. So I will link that at the end of this video and down in the description below. But essentially I printed off a whole bunch of these photos at smaller sizes. And then without putting a whole lot of thought into it, I just fit them where I wanted them, kind of tucked them in like puzzles in my layout. Now it is helpful if you kind of have an idea like, okay, I'm gonna cut a bunch of them to two inches wide or a bunch of them to three inches wide. That way they can all, like these all kind of fit on top of each other. But see how there's pattern paper here, pattern paper here, pattern paper here. So I fit all the photos in like a puzzle and then whatever was not covered in my background was covered with pattern paper. So I started with a six by six sheet of just regular white cardstock. I puzzled all of my photos in there and then I cut the pieces of paper to fit. So there's not a whole lot of designing, not a whole lot of thinking. These photos are not from the same month um, or event or anything like that. I kind of just went by sizes and maybe some color. So let's go to the next page and I've got even more smaller photos. And um, so again, these are not all in the same month. There's some that are from the same event, like these are from a, the little photo shoot with my daughter. But really, I'm just looking for kind of color and size and just making sure that everything's gonna fit on the page and puzzling in these little pieces. It was nice that these pieces started as six by six, so it was easy, easy to trim them down. But this is also a really good format for all of your scraps. And then as you can see, there's very minimal embellishing. So I use these little puffy stickers a lot, a few little sparkles here and there. Um, I did just a little journaling. So I wrote the where these were taken. Again here, I've got a little decorative border going across the whole bottom, very minimal embellishments. So the idea is just to be able to look through the album and get a glimpse into the year. So I've got a lot of these 
scrapbooked in my 12 by 12 albums but this is just a real quick flip through of the year to see all of the highlights and I have more here than I do in my albums. This one's probably the most like designed that I did having all of these. I had a bunch of them that were all the same size squares. So did that and then I wrote on each of them what that was because they were all from a whole bunch of different events. This was a little zip strip from one of the papers and then I used an alphabet stamp to stamp that. Here's another designed one where I had a bunch of the same size going down and then kind of a little, uh, you know, middle center piece there. So another thing to take into consideration is on the spread using the same papers on both sides so that even though we're not doing a whole lot of designing, it does look like a cohesive layout. So I've got the green on both sides and I've got this black paper on both sides and you'll see that throughout. So on this one, I've got the um, aqua on both sides. This one is not pulled over here just because I, I think I just had this extra little piece here but you know, it doesn't matter, it still looks cute. So it's another great way to use a bunch of your little embellishments that you have left over from various things. So I've got a couple of bigger photos here, bigger than I did in some of the previous layouts. Another that's a little bit more designed with this kind of center piece of photos, and then we've got the sides. I've got this rainbow piece carried over over here and then I think I ran out of this or something and had these so it's the same color but not the same pattern as over here and this one we've got sort of a cohesive look going across but it's just this was really fun to do it probably um the hardest part was going through and choosing all the photos so I went through my phone and I chose all the photos from the year that I went from that particular year that I wanted to include and I added them to a new album that I made as my 2018 highlight album in my phone, added them all to that. And then I went through those again, whittled them down and chose just the top, I'd say choose between 75 and 100 photos. And then I pulled from that album to go into um, my collages and I walked through that a little bit more in that other video I mentioned that I will link to. So just a really fun way if you are overwhelmed at the idea of scrapbooking but want something this is a great option for you or even if you do scrapbook already this is has more detail and more photos than you might include in your normal 12 by 12 layouts. This last page was reserved for journaling for me to journal the highlights from the year. <laughs> Obviously I never did that and now I'm probably going to forget a lot of those details so I encourage you to do your journaling right after you create the album so you don't forget a lot. I, I now I'm remembering that I need to do that so I'll do that before I forget a whole lot more. And then this second album of my dog is the same idea but it's all photos of my dog so i did the same thing where i went through my phone found all the photos of him made a separate album for them then collaged them and put them all in the album um, some of them i tried to keep sort of by theme like these were all at the bay at fiesta island these were all snow um, a lot of these, some of these were in the mountains, more snow. So I sort of kept them grouped, but not necessarily. Like these are two different spots. Um, these are two, this is both mammoth, but winter and summer. Um, I've got the red on both sides here. This was all around the same time. So he loved the snow. Can you tell? <laughs> so same kind of idea. It's another... Um, another option for you is to do a specific event. You could do like a little vacation album or, um, you know, a grandchild album or a graduation album or any kind of themed event or highlight of a person, like a memorial for a person. You could have something like this out at the celebration of life. If you didn't want to do a whole 12 by 12 album, this is just as effective and it will take you less time. I think these each probably actual working time once my photos were printed, probably four to six hours, 
but that wasn't just continuous working. I would come back to it, you know, time after time. And then at the end of this one, I did do the journaling and I've got a little flip flap here and my husband and I both wrote something. This is what we both posted on Facebook when um, our dog passed away. And so I put his message here and then mine was a little longer. So I have it right here, a little extra space. I put Wonder Dog because we called him Oslo the Wonder Dog. So um, I did do the journaling on this one. And these flip flops, by the way, come in tons of sizes. Um, this is a three by four. You can do four by six, four by four, three by four, two by two would all fit in this album. Um, and you could put them on any of these pages. It doesn't have to just be here. And you could put photos in them. So it's another way to add some extra photos if you wanted to do that. So we hope you got some good ideas here. If you have done a six by six album or have an idea for one, then leave that in the comments below. I know that there are others looking for ideas for these smaller and quicker to put together albums and we would love to know. I've got all the supplies that are still available for these linked down in the description and check out this video that's on the screen to see another video that you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.